Hello, welcome to Empress Delight Oracle. I'm Lishi. Today we have a message for the sign of Aquarius. So what's up, Aquarius? Excuse me, we have this full moon in Aries. So I want to tap in and get some messages for you all. All right, so respect to the Most High Mother and Father. Gratitude to my spiritual team. So what would we like um, the Aquariuses to know at this time? What's the vibe? What's the vibe? Recharge, breathe, let go, and clear your mind. All right, so right now, okay, during this time, you may be recharging, okay? It uh, looks like you're being asked to let go of some things, clear your mind, okay? Maybe you all need to work on some breathing techniques, all right? Um, I've been doing that myself, so you really just should look into something like that. I'm feeling, okay, maybe you need to get next to some water. Some of you could have been spending a, a lot of time next to some water, and you've been being recharged, okay? I'm hearing, like, the saline, something with the saline in the air is doing something for your lungs perhaps all right so that's something you should keep doing yeah because um i see consequences here so maybe you've been taking some time out to kind of figure out what's been going on with yourself or other people uh, you may be looking at some of the mixed signals that people were giving to you all right and you uh, had some time to recharge and kind of iron them out and kind of see um you know what type of game was being played to a sense okay and we have salty bitter and angry so i was just speaking about the salt and this is pink himalayan salt so maybe there's something you all need to do really with some salt or some cleansing i'm hearing goggle gargle with salt maybe drink a little bit of salt water in the morning um you know this is a collective message so you may need to stay away only you could really know what resonates right so um, i'm feeling like there could be some people around you who are a little bit petty okay they may be a little bit salty <laughs> maybe you spending some time alone or recharging has caused somebody else some type of consequences maybe the consequences is not being able to be in your presence okay uh, maybe they feel like that you're ready to burn some bridges but I, that's not the signals that I'm getting I'm just feeling like somebody may have made some bad choices around you and you know um that's just not what you, you know, you ain't really trying to get into that energy, all right? So at this time, I feel like you're being called to be in a more nurturing energy, all right? Like providing wisdom to others, ment mentorship, giving back. There may be somebody younger than you that needs you, okay, who um, wants to correspond with you in some way or is in need of your nurturing, okay? All right, so I want to go ha tap in here. We're going to tap into the New Orleans um, oracle and we're gonna go ahead and get a message and then we'll get up out of here Aquarius so spirit what does the beautiful sign of Aquarius need to know at this time we have this full moon in Aries okay so for the next couple of days or however this serves what would the what would you like them to know what would you like Aquarius to know do or respond to at this time so you needed to respond to something so maybe something is coming your way. Maybe you're waiting something out. Maybe you're waiting on some information to become a little bit clearer. Or maybe you're waiting for someone to get out of that petty, salty <laughs> energy so you can, um, you know, do something new. But we have intuition, okay? That's number 25. Let's tap in. Aquarius and their intuition. You guys are like supersonic to me. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's number 27. All right, so intuition is the accurate inner knowing that each of us is born with. If you choose to tune into it consistently, it will become stronger. And if you help to guide you, and it can help to guide you and bring you peace through every aspect of your life. You're being called to ask yourself, what do I feel about this? By remembering to start with this question, it will allow you to understand the difference between what you think and what you feel. Sometimes it is necessary to be aware of the profound difference between the nature of these two things. You are not being asked to completely sacrifice intellectual thought, but rather to combine it with your gift of intuition in order to gain more balance and clarity in your life decisions. So, what do I feel versus, hmm, 
what do I feel about this versus, you know, what do I think about it in a sense, you know? Because, you know, sometimes you got to come out of your own well, okay? Sometimes you got to come down from the clouds of the cosmic world, <laughs> I like to say for you all, and kind of step into the shoes or the heart space of other people. And I know you all are not one who like to conform, but sometimes it's okay to, it's not really conforming. It's just tending to the needs of someone else. Sometimes you can be exactly what they need and it can be a healing, okay? A nurturing, a, you know, you know, you have a lot of wisdom and I just feel like it just needs to be shared at this time. So with that said, just let it flow Aquarius and um, sending you much love. I'll